Just before we start the video, I just want to quickly update you on the E92 M3 competition. Now, I know some of you will notice I've extended it a few times, now I'm going to explain why. But firstly, I just want to let you know there is a guaranteed live draw date, which is Friday the 11th. I'll be going live on the LLF Games Facebook, so make sure to join me there. The competition does end the day before, which is a Thursday, so you can still win this car for just £11.99. Obviously, you know the spec already, 668 horsepower, E92 M3. We've got our ESS V3 supercharger kit, we've got the 20-inch BBS alloys the upgraded f10 m5 brembo calipers flat bottom steering wheel front mount intercooler so many modifications on this m3 really a special special car so back to why i've had to extend the competition i know a lot of you think i've got a couple of hundred thousand followers that you know all my tickets are sold to fans and subscribers it's actually not true i have to advertise just like every other platform using instagram facebook and google and for some reason I've not been able to spend a penny on advertising this car. Now, I'm not acting like I'm being targeted, but it's very strange that every other platform is able to advertise apart from me. So that is the reason why I've had to extend this a few times. I've got a solicitor onto it at the moment. Hopefully it'll be solved any second. But as mentioned already, there is a guaranteed live draw date, which is this Friday, the 11th. The competition will end the day before. So guys, TK link in the description below. You can still win it for just 11 99 And I'll put you back into the video. What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to Living Life Fast and you know what time it is. We are finally doing our first track day. We've actually been invited down by Suspension Secrets. I'm sure you would have seen the video. They actually just did a geo setup on the 720. Got a man like Oscar getting the visuals, of course. So you mentioned last time it's what you do, yeah? You turn up to track days yeah, and you it. just sort of set up people's cars, yeah? Exactly, yeah. So we do all the RMA days and all mm -hmm. the circuit days days. Um, we come set them up, we swap flat patch up, and yeah. we just work people who are having trouble out on track and get the setup fine tuned yeah, for. I've actually borrowed his pump because we need to get these tyre pressures up. So these are actually still set up for drag. Uh, we've got them at about probably 15 psi. We need to get them up to about 28. I don't even know what the average lap times are. It's your track, can we? Know this. I've been on here once before, probably done about three laps, but Silverstone's one of my favourite, hopefully today. Get a little bit of an idea of what it's like. Another thing is, look at the lineup today, guys. Pure supercars, race cars, the Janettas, we've got Porsche GT3, that might be a 2 RS over there. 458, looks like a challenge car. Megan, see, that's what I'm trying to say, guys. Certified driver's car, that's why you're taking it. Right, like, man, she's a little bit more aggressive now on the front. You barely touch the wheel now and it sort of dives into corners, so if I find it too sensitive, they can sort of dial it back a bit. You guys specialise in McLaren, yeah? Yeah, well, we've been doing McLarens now for seven years now, so we're the first people to get one. We bought a 12C six and a half, seven years ago. Mm -hmm. We now own a 12C, a 570 and a 720, wow. and we specialise in road car servicing. Um, we're basically McLaren independent. We don't sell cars. Okay. We just work at them, servicing, repair them, and we do also racing as well. Uh, I'm in my 720 today. Uh, you're not liking my setup, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, admiring, I'm admiring your paint, the paint's brilliant, it looks lovely, yeah. but yeah, with a set of a Toyo Triple Eights on the back and P0s yeah. on the front, yeah. you're going to have fun, I think. Yeah, it's it's Basically, I didn't get time, yeah. What actually happened was I ordered the R888Rs, but they didn't, they discontinued discontinued the front, so I ordered a full set of uh, AR1s for any racers watching. But, um, yeah, so... Yeah, you're going to have fun, it's, it's now raining, Yeah. so with a set of R888s, which are great tyres, yeah. mixed, which is a track day tyre, mixed mm. with a P0, which is a fairly average road tyre, yeah. it's not going to go great combination on road or track, to be honest, yeah. just to have so fun. Gonna, but it's going to be a hard, hard time, yeah. What you're going to what you have is, if it dries out, you'll have too much grip at the back, right. so understeer you wet, yeah. it stays wet, the other way around, the, the R888s don't work well on the wet anyway, right. so you'll be yeah. oversteering. Lovely, so, lovely. Yeah, keep, keep on your toes today, put it that way. We'll put all this in, get your details, only I'll say it, also means, could means your car's been inspected to go on track. Mm -hmm. When you finish track day, we end to redo it again, check your tyre pressure, which means you're okay and warranted. Yeah. So these guys are doing a little inspection. Yeah. Yeah. They're just checking the lights and the indicators. Yeah, all good? All good? 
no issues, it's all good. So, yeah. Your job, tire pressure's got to do with when you get out on track. Right. Um, when your struck turns out, get out with him. But the car's good, no issues. It's, it's obviously done well with. I mean, obviously done a lot of drag racing and stuff like that. Mate, a lot, man. Do well, no issues. No wishbones loose, no problems with the wheels, no, no the hubs. There's no gearbox leaks and all the leaks, the cool leaks, fine. Good to go. I'll do another lap again and then I'll um, see where you're at. Yeah, okay. Just watch out for the wet patches, though. Yeah. yeah. Front axle really just turns in whenever you want. Mm. And 
the trail breaking through here, you've got so nice. It's just the back end's just coming around. It allows you to get a nice straight exit out. Do you know, normally when I jump in one of these, it's like, oh, it's not quite the handling of the Porsche. Right, it's yeah, set up yeah. so nice. Yeah. I think it might be, yeah, something to No, it's the shims. Tight. He's installed shims, mate. It's night and day. You own a beer. Yeah, you made this car a proper weapon. Oscar's saying he's never seen me this excited. Bro, come on, what's it looking like on the straight? Your R looks so rapid. Go on, it? I'm in heaven. I don't know what to say. I'm lost for words. Speechless. The rumours on the paddock right now is who's that dude in the Mac? The Geo set, are you done? Yeah. It's transformed the car, man. Yeah, mega. No, go traffic. Yeah, honestly, we're overtaking everyone. <laughs> it makes a huge difference. Like, as standard, they're good. But yeah. if you're going to push it, you need the shims. And then imagine yeah. if that was the track shim on track. You know, it's, yeah. it's that again. Yeah. But obviously, on the road, you don't Mate, want to do that. The but... front end, it's just unbelievable, man. Yeah, that's it. Mid Every apex grip, you just hit. Like, zero one steer. Um, we did have a small little issue. Coolant temps went up slightly. Obviously, it's a turbocharged car, and I have been bearing the throttle. But yeah, honestly, I just can't say enough good words about this car. So well balanced on the limit. I think this time we're going to go out. Uh, with another guy actually, I spoke to him on Instagram a few times, I'm not sure if he's a racing driver or he's an instructor, but he's going to go around with me, hopefully help me with my lines. I'm going to just try not to focus on racing this time. It has had a light little shower, although the sun's come back out again. Weird, weird day, man. UK is just terrible for this sort of shit. You going to jump out? Yeah, definitely. Ready? 100%. I'll let you settle in for the first couple of laps, yeah. and then I'll see what you're doing differently to what I'll do. Yeah. And then I'll talk to you and basically guide you into where I think you should be. See, Johnny in the GT3 RS in front of us. Yeah. It's absolutely rapid round here. Well then, let's uh, try and overtake it, man. <laughs> They're just warming up. Now turn in. There you 
go. Keep it, keep it, keep it. Wants to go power. Good, good, good. Just the metal line. Good. Brakes down one. Keep it this gear. Wait, wait. That's it. Turn it. Good. Now over to the left. Keep it this gear. Now smooth, smooth, smooth. In, smooth. Keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. Wait, 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 wait. Power. Good. Over this. You was making me drive harder than I wanted to drive then. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> Literally on this. <laughs> Guys, fuck me. I'm, I'm, I think it's bedtime. You're not, you're is this that fast guy, isn't it? Yeah, this is uh, Johnny. Alright. Follow his line. See how, yeah, if you can follow his lines, mate, you'll be, you'll be quick. You'll be quick. Watch where he breaks. He's breaking up the side. Yeah, break, 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 break. Turn in. Follow his line, he's nice and tight through there, good. Over to the left, wait for it. You see how he's hanging out? Yeah, good. Nice power. Just watch where he goes, he's obviously turning in nice and late there. Driving through. Just keep an eye on him. He's very late, obviously. There he's. Very <laughs> traction on, isn't he? His lines are completely different. He does turn in really late. Yeah, go on. Keep it nice and smooth through here, you'll catch him. Power. Look, see how he's right over to the right hand side? Yeah. Now he comes in late. You yeah. see that? So now he's look how tight he is, he's coming right out there, yeah. Wow. Nothing else in life. There's not nothing yeah. that can compare to, to this right it's now. It's hard to explain to non-petrol heads how much motorsport means to some people. It's like you're in a fight, man. Yeah. Like, the adrenaline's just yeah. But even something to focus on. Yeah. Like how good is it for your mental health and you know yeah. to get away from the stresses of life and and mm -hmm. different people. Here you get to sit in your own environment. Yeah. You're you're teaching yourself how to do something that you enjoy. No, oh, that was fun, man. Definitely helped me a lot there. Oh, yeah, it's bedtime for me, man, honestly. <laughs> it takes yeah. it out of you, doesn't it? Yeah. It's just the concentration. Yeah. Not the it's not just the physical, it's like yeah. the, the mental strain it does as well. Your eyes, your ears. Yeah, brilliant work, mate. I'm very impressed. All right, so guys, I'm going to end the video there. As you can see, I'm looking very, very tired. I think we're at eight just before I went out in the last session. My body's now digesting that food. I'm literally about to conk out. I was blaming it because I ain't been to the gym in about three years. Wow, wow. I don't know what to say, man. I just love being on a track. I love just going into the zone, tunnel vision mode. It's the best feeling on earth. You cannot beat it, man. Any of you guys that have not done track days. I think next time we'll get the Nankang AR1s on. I've got another three track days booked, by the way. Silverstone, Alton Park. We've got Donington. And we're going to try to get over to Portugal as well. Where is it? Uh, oh, man, I keep forgetting the name of it. But anyway, yeah, you know the track in Portugal. Yeah, I think I did okay. There was definitely a couple of hairy moments. Car overheated probably two or three more times on the track then, but we're doing like 10, 15 laps. I don't think you're meant to do 10, 15 laps. So, yeah, guys, I'm going to end the video there. As always, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.